so this is it. The finals of Great British Menu are about to begin. Well, Tom, here we are. Yeah, looking forward to it. I am, yeah. Well, Very you're... intrigued by this BLT. <laughs> Very intrigued. The first dish to go to the judges will be Tom's wild boar breakfast. It's a feast of a fry-up, which could be a problem for another of our magnificent seven, Chris Horridge, who insists that food should be both tasty and healthy. But he is curious about this. Well, you got, have you got, like, was it duck cell in your mushrooms, is it? Yeah, a little duck cell, a bit of a Scottish mulled cheddar on top. Oh, yeah? A little fried tomato, made a little bit of herb breadcrumbs. Yeah. It's early days, and Chris didn't criticise it at all. But then he hadn't seen the rest of it, including Tom's take on homemade baked beans and, of course, the fried boar sausage. Jason's dish is high fat too. Chris will have a fit if you see him putting all this in. Look at that. Oil, butter, <laughs> fatty bacon. Surely it's about pleasure food. Yeah, that's right. So, you know, I, I still allow myself to eat the nicer things in life, you know. I still like a, a bacon sandwich on a Sunday morning. Of course. But this is a starter, and as the judges said, it shouldn't be too substantial. Do you think that's a lot of meat for a starter, or do you think it's fine? No, I've cut it down. I can't go any less than this anyway, so... Ah, so Tom did listen to the judges, as he should if he wants to get to the gherkin. On goes the boar's head sausage, and the winner of the central heat, Glyn Purnell, is fascinated. So it's got all the elements of a breakfast, but with a lot more sophistication. Well, it's really nice. Jason also seems impressed. Tom's setting a very high standard. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, well. Wow. Mm. Apart from my sides, I hope it wins. <laughs> You're a good lad. This course could be Tom's best chance of getting to the banquet. He scaled the dish down as the judges suggested. But will they still like it? God, it shrunk. <laughs> <laughs> There's a picture of a man who's just been shoved in the door of Weight Watchers. <laughs> I think it looks absolutely wonderful. Mm. Mm. Crunchy pigs, yeah. Crunchy pigs, yeah. Mm. It's, the, it's the porky scratchings of paradise. Yeah. Last time, the pigs here was the one thing that wasn't perfect because it was a bit tough and bendy. And this is beautifully crunchy. If that ever entered a competition for the finest British breakfast, no one else should even bother turning up. Mm. I would love that for a first course. This is a very smart, postmodern, humorous take on the Great British Breakfast. I don't necessarily think a chef who has little knowledge of uh, the Great British Greasy Spin is going to uh, understand the humour of it. I think Heston might be the only person in the gherkin apart from us who actually gets the joke, you know. Let's forget about it being a joke. Mm. Let's just judge it on whether this is a delicious dish. And tell me that it's not. This is not a, a, a summer dish, is it? This is a, a dish one would like to have before one goes out uh, caber tossing in the morning. Right? <laughs> and, and, uh... Well, I think, I think you've got me there, because I have to confess, I don't think this is the most summery dish we've had. Right. But it's pretty damn nice. So, not bad. But it's not just the judges who are scrutinising the food today. Tom can expect searching criticism from his rivals, too. I would have probably put that there, just because yeah. mm. there's a lot of work gone into that. I like to see well, it. Is that and the... I'm, I probably would have maybe cornelled that on oh, top so of something. Like well, sort of Stephen like... may fault the presentation, but it's time they got stuck in. Mm. That tomato chutney is delicious. Yeah. It's mm. nice, actually. Yeah. I like it because it's got a nice um, touch of yeah. sense of humour, which is quite mm. yeah. yeah. It may be witty, but does it tick all the boxes? Do you think it's fine dining as such? No, I don't think so, no. I, I like the dish, but I mean, I don't think it's the right dish for the bank.